Welcome back to John's Films. As you may have noticed on the channel, back in June, I implemented a new branding package, and this branding package really has helped draw my users in. This is typically a DaVinci Resolve performance benchmarks and tips channel. However, today, as most of my viewers have their own YouTube channel, I thought you might find this interesting. I was going through the analytics and I saw that there is definitely a bending point where I can draw a direct map between the date at which I released new branding and started to theme my channel versus before. Now, what is it that I see? I see what's called the network effect, meaning once users hit my channel, they tend to stick because they follow the breadcrumbs of my br branding and theming across the channel. Before that, I really did see where I'd have a, a spike or a bubble of a video that was pretty successful, but it didn't have any lasting memory. It didn't have any real push towards my channel going forward. However, now when I have a bubble, I see a dramatic peak in subscribers because they find more videos related through the use of this branding that I've got running across my thumbnails, as well as my channel branding here. And you can see even my PowerPoint benchmark result templates that I use. And so I really do believe that a lot of the success and growth here, which has ended up getting me monetized around this spike, uh, I only make like $1, $1.25 a day, so I'm not killing it, but I am enjoying that uh, I'm getting something back for the effort that I put in here. And I really like connecting with more and more users because I've found uh, more users with more problems and have been able to help a lot of people. And that's what I truly enjoy out of this. Economics, statistics majors. Yes, I understand this is not a direct correlation. However, I will call this the correlation of impact. What I see is as I've grown to more unique viewers, as you might guess, I'm getting more subscribers. But it's neat to see that there's a correlation or at least some sort of inference between the two where previously I would get subscribers for no great reason. Here I could kind of see a bump, you know, it's a ton of subscribers for a video that did meh, okay. Um, and then now what I tend to see is if I can publish quality content, it tends to yield quality subscribers, people that are truly interested in it and like to see what's going on on the channel in the future. At any rate, I hope this has been a good short for you. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Like if you thought this was useful and if you'd like to see more content, I'll do another one based on the revenue that I'm grabbing off the channel. But otherwise, we'll be back to the regular bat channel, regular bat time, regular bat place here soon with more performance benchmarks and DaVinci Resolve how-tos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.